I'm going to use this piece of Chinese privet, which is a weed bush that grows all over the world. I'm going to make a spoon. It's going to look slightly more like a spoon than it does right now, at least. It's hard for me to believe I was this smart when I actually saved the template from the spoon I made last time. That goes over there, and that goes over there. I don't think we have any core, it looks like. Maybe just a touch there. Then we're going to cut it out with the bandsaw, which is one of my newfound favorite tools. I mean, I, I didn't like it for a very long time, and it's, it's really growing on me lately. So this is the all power tools guide. We're gonna use just power tools, possibly some sandpaper at the end, but other than that, it's going to be all power tools. Actually, it's not. We're gonna use a draw knife, because it's just like, what else are you gonna use besides a draw knife? A bell sander? Could use that. Okay, we're gonna take out the old shaving horse and see what works still. It should, considering there's absolutely no reason why it shouldn't. Ah, let's get it back on the old horse. Flatten this face off a little bit. Not very good for pushing. Need to lose that. For some reason, this thing's really difficult to film. I don't know why, but it just it is. All right, let's get a good thumbnail shot, huh? A nice curl. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's move my safety equipment up here because I am pushing on my leg now. Don't recommend that, but I'm doing it. Do what I say, not what I do. We're going to move to the hand carving knife pretty soon here. I just remembered a trick that I forgot to do, which was before I cut it out, cut the bowl. Should have done that because now it's going to be a lot harder to clamp everything. But before I get any more shaping done, I am going to cut the bowl. Shim this up. Take some shaves off of there. There's good. You know what that is? That's my entire clamp collection. I have no more clamps, so um, I'm gonna do this tomorrow. Goodbye. Okay, boy knife's done. Um, if you like watching boy knife videos, go over to my channel, Caleb Ray, and watch all my videos. All of them. They're all good. This is the spoon. It's back to work. So because I did my rolling pin, which I should probably be working on the rolling pin, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna have to leave you guys for a little bit and go work on that. Anyway, you will not notice. Let's see if we can do this just by hand. Let's see if we can use the draw knife to get this bowl a little bit more where I want it. Well, it's the next day, and I'm still here, chipping away, quite literally. It's going. I haven't been here all night anyway, even though I made it sound like that. This is definitely a little bit less romantic, but I remember I had this Shinto saw rasp, which works really well for stuff like this. And this end is just really, really hard to carve. So I'm gonna use the saw rasp and get it shaped down real quick. And then we can go back to probably hand sanding at this point. This is so close to being done. It's just like, it's so close. It looks, I think it's good. The back is now shaped down thin enough. It's still thick, but you don't want it to break, so it's, I think it's fine. Now I'm just going to shape down the end to make that nice and rounded, or maybe even a chamfer. It may look better with the chamfer, and I may leave the angle on it too, for that matter. A little chamfer. 
I think I kind of do like that actually. Now we're going to use files to round this thing off and get all those cut marks out. I don't know if these were going to work very well, but I've done it a lot with knives. And it works fine then, so. Because it's, it's a flat, very light cutter. We could use this first actually. Right there. Now we got some 60 grit, and I'm just going to kind of refine the shape. Especially around these edges, just make it nice and smooth and even because a lot of my other spoons weren't very even, so I want to keep it nice and smooth. I must say, this is some of the best carving wood I've ever had, though. This Chinese privet, it's like a weed bush and it just grows everywhere and you can't stop it. And they get huge and they're really annoying, but it carves really well. All right, we're getting there. It looks good. There's a groove I cut out of the handle because it was kind of chipping. You can't see my face. It was kind of, it was kind of like shredding out there. It was like this grain that was like running in and it was separated. So I just cut it out. I think it looks better as a groove than anything else. I just got it wet to pop the grain, even though this is like insane wood and it didn't actually really pop much at all. Now we're gonna sand it back down once it dries. But you should always try to pop the grain because most woods are going to definitely expand and have some roughness and then you sand it off and it should stay even when you get it wet. Now we're going to sand it down back to 320, maybe go to 400, possibly. I don't know. Anyway, we're almost done. Steel wool is really good at this kind of stuff because it kind of cuts off fibers that are sticking up, but it doesn't really cut new ones. Put some mineral oil on it because people say it's the best, so we're going to use it. I realize you're probably soaking it in mineral oil, but you know, you can't have everything. It seemed better, but I seen worse too. I'm gonna wood burn my symbol on the bottom because it just, you know, it wouldn't be complete without my symbol on the bottom. Good? Good. this far in the video this is really really fun to do I haven't made a spoon in years and it's really fun to get back and do it it's very therapeutic you know it's small it's quiet you use a lot of hand tools making little tiny really cool curls of wood that you don't make with the table saw or anything else the only power tool I used was the bandsaw so other than that it was all hand tools even though files and rasps are not typically used for spoon making I don't think I did it and it helped me and made it faster so I think it's probably legal anyway this is a great video I hope I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next one.